All right, so this is this is an example of a neutralization reaction. So adding an acid, hydrochloric acid, and then add a base, sodium hydroxide. Let's see what happened. Well, this is just a simple um, double displacement reaction. Sodium pair up with chloride, right? And hyd uh, hydrogen, a proton, will pair up with hydroxide ion to make water. All right. All right. These are molecular equations. Let's write an ionic equation together. Anything that's soluble in water, break them up. All right. So hydrochloric acid soluble in water, break them up. Proton chloride. All right. Sodium hydroxide also soluble in water. Sodium. You guys know sodium soluble in water. So break them up. Break them up to sodium ion and hydroxide ion. Okay. Uh, sodium chloride or oh, totally soluble in water. Break them up as well. Now water. Water in, we do this reaction in water, right? So water in water, break them up? No, they just stay as a water, <laughs> right? So that's, that's it, an ionic equation of a neutralization, adding acid, adding base, and you get like all this, you get water too. All right, let's check uh, who are spectator ions. Uh, I see chloride, right? I see sodium, you know? So cancel them out. So what's, what's really happening in this solution? Just making water, right? That's the reason why you adding an acid and a, and a base, you get water. They cancel each other out, right? So that's why we call it neutralization. So neutralize, they cancel each other out. Okay. So basically, a general acid base reaction. So we add an acid, we add a base, you get salt and water. That's a general idea. Uh, similar to the combustion reaction. So you add a fuel, you add oxygen. What's the, the other component? Heat. And you're gonna get carbon dioxide and water. Same thing there. Okay. All right. Uh, practice this together one more. So, <clears throat> uh, predict the product and balance the 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 following neutralization reaction. So, HBr sodium hydroxide pair them. Uh, just double displacement. So sodium bromide, right? And uh, and water. You're gonna get salt and water. Always get that, right? And the salt. Uh, check the formula real quick. So sodium plus one, bromide minus one. Yep, you're good. And water, we don't have to check that water is a covalent compound. It, it is, that is as it is. They don't have charges. Okay. Next one. <clears throat> um, we got perchloric acid and barium hydroxide. All right, swap real quick. So barium uh, perchlorate, and you get water. Okay. Uh, check this. Uh, the formula. So barium plus two. So group two plus two. Chlor uh, per chloride minus one, just like chloride minus one. Swap, oh no, swap, uh, crossover. You get that? Uh, balance equation real quick. So we have one per chloride here. I'm just looking at the per chloride. So we got two per chloride on the right side. So I'm going to put two in front of per chloric acid. Okay. And when you got two right here, uh, looks like we have how many hydrogen do we have? So we have two hydrogen here two hydrogen here so four hydrogen total so i'm gonna put two in front of water all right uh we got one barium one barium yep looks like we're done now yeah um check number of oxygen real quick so eight oxygen plus two oxygen so 10 on the left side eight oxygen here two more oxygen so 10 on the right side so we're good everything's good all right last one uh Phosphoric acid and potassium hydroxide. All right, swap it. Uh, swap the partner. Potassium phosphate. Here we go. And you're gonna get water. Always. This is neutralize uh, neutralization reaction. Add an acid at the base. You're gonna get salt and water. Always like that. Um, potassium phosphate. Check the charge. So plus one minus three. Cross it over. K three PO four. Um, three potassium. Well, I'm gonna put three in front in front of potassium hydroxide. Okay. That's affect number of um, well, hyd hyd hydrogen. So we have um, three hydrogen here, three hydrogen here. So six hydrogens, hydrogen total. All right, six hydrogen total. So put three in front of water. All right, one phosphorus, one phosphorus. Uh, check oxygen real quick. So three oxygen on the right side, four here. So seven total on the right. Uh, four oxygen, three oxygen, or seven as well. So seven and seven, we're good. All right, last one, last one. So write a complex uh, ionic equation and a net ionic equation for the following neutralization. So, so we have molecular reaction already, molecular equation. All right, now write um, uh, overall ionic, ionic equation. 
um, break them up. So anything soluble, break them up. So uh, proton, bromide, break them up. Sodium hydroxide, break them apart. Okay. Now we get salt. Oh, is this salt soluble in water? Sodium, you know, it's say aqueous. But if if I if if you don't see the aqueous here, sodium, you know, that's soluble in water, all right? And water in water just stays as the water. All right, that's the ionic equation. Now, net ionic equation. Anything that's the spectator ion, cancel them out. Bromide and the sodium and net reaction. Same thing always. The neutralized station gives you water. <laughs> so, all right. Um, acti uh, class activity number three, question one. Again, soluble, insoluble, use the solubility rule. And then question two, so write the um, uh, balance and write the net ionic equation. Okay. <clears throat> question three, same thing. Uh, synthesis, single displacement, uh, displacement. So categorize this reaction. And the last one, predict the product and balance equation. You can do that. All right. This is the last slide uh, of this chapter. Um, I also post, uh, beside the study guide, I also post um, all quizzes. Um, I think it's the, like practice for this chapter. So, and, and a key as well. So make sure you do that too. Okay. All right. Thank you very much, guys. So I'll see you in chapter seven.